Okay, so this is problem 2.1.51, and they are asking us to solve x plus 3 eighths equals a negative 1 quarter. Okay, so um, the addition principle, which is what we're learning in this uh, 2.1 section, tells us that if we have something, if we're solving for x and we have something added to it, then what we need to do is undo this sign using subtraction to move this number to the other side. Because our goal when we're solving is to get x isolated on one side of an equation by itself with a coefficient of 1. Okay, so it's already got the coefficient of 1, but we need to detach this from it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3 eighths from both sides. And a positive 3 eighths and a negative 3 eighths are going to add to be 0, and that's why we did that. And we're left with x equaling a negative 1 quarter and then minus 3 eighths. If I write it instead of up and down, I'm going to write it sideways like that. Now, these are fractions, and so in order to get a common denominator, well, in order to subtract them, I need to get a common denominator. And so the den common denominator here is 8. And so what I want to do is I actually want to take this 1 fourth, and I want to multiply it by 2 over 2. And that's because 2 over 2 is the equivalent of 1. So I'm not changing it, but I'm just multiplying here to get this up to a number that... Um, <clears throat> to get this up to an 8 for a denominator, which is the common one there. So if I multiply straight across, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 over 8, and then we have negative 3 over 8. So x is equal to negative 5 eighths here, and the reason it's negative 5 eighths is once I have common denominators, I can then bring my numerators together and add them. So this is a negative 2 minus 3, they have the same sign, so that means I'm going to keep that sign, which is negative, and then add them. 2 and 3 becomes 5. Okay, So x equals negative 5 eighths would be your solution there.